the sun beat down upon the golden sands of Seaside Haven, casting shimmering reflections upon the crystal clear waters that lapped gently at the shore. It was spring break, a time for sun, surf, and endless nights of revelry beneath the stars. My friends and I had been looking forward to this trip for months, counting down the days until we could escape the drudgery of school and lose ourselves in the carefree abandon of vacation. But as we arrived at our rented beach house, a sense of unease settled over me, a primal instinct warning me of dangers unseen. The air was heavy with the salty tang of the ocean, mingling with the sweet scent of sunscreen and the faint hint of something sinister, an undercurrent of tension that lingered just beneath the surface. But I brushed aside my misgivings, eager to immerse myself in the excitement of the week ahead. As the days passed, our vacation unfolded like a dream. Lazy afternoons spent lounging on the beach, soaking up the sun's warm embrace, followed by lively nights of laughter and camaraderie beneath the twinkling lights of the boardwalk. But as the sun set on our fourth night in Seaside Haven, a sense of unease crept over me, a feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes, peering out from the darkness just beyond the edge of our reality. I tried to shake off the feeling, chalking it up to fatigue and too many late nights of partying. But as I lay in bed that night, the sounds of the ocean whispering in my ears, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. The air was thick with the scent of salt and seaweed, mingling with the musty odor of old wood and damp earth a scent that clung to the walls of our beach house like a curse. And then, just as I was drifting off to sleep, I heard it, a soft, plaintive wail echoing through the darkness, a sound that sent shivers down my spine and froze the blood in my veins. I sat up in bed, my heart pounding with fear and confusion as the sound grew louder and more insistent. With trembling hands, I reached for my phone, the soft glow of the screen casting eerie shadows across the room as I dialed the number for the front desk. But when I told the receptionist about the strange noises, she brushed it off with a laugh, assuring me that it was just the wind playing tricks on my mind. But I knew better. I knew that there was something out there in the darkness, something waiting to claim us as its own. With a sense of dread gnawing at my insides, I crept out of bed and made my way to the window, my heart pounding with fear as I peered out into the night. And then I saw it, a figure standing on the beach below, its form shrouded in shadow, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. My breath caught in my throat as I watched, paralyzed with terror, as the figure turned and vanished into the darkness, leaving nothing but an eerie silence in its wake. The next morning, I told my friends about what I had seen, but they laughed it off as a bad dream, a figment of my overactive imagination fueled by too much sun and too little sleep. But I knew the truth. I knew that the figure on the beach was real and that it was watching us, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. As the days passed, the sense of unease grew stronger, like a storm gathering on the horizon, a dark cloud looming over our idyllic vacation paradise. And then, on the final night of our stay, the storm broke with a fury that shook me to my core. As we gathered on the beach for one last bonfire beneath the stars, a sense of dread settled over me like a heavy blanket, suffocating me with its weight. And then, as if on cue, the figure appeared once more, its form twisting and shifting in the flickering firelight as it advanced towards us with a slow, purposeful gait. With a cry of terror, I turned and fled, my friends hot on my heels as we raced back to the safety of our beach house. But even as we slammed the door shut behind us and barricaded ourselves inside, I knew that we were not safe not as long as the figure lurked outside. 
its presence a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the edge of our reality. And as the first light of dawn painted the sky in shades of pink and gold, we made our escape from Seaside Haven, leaving behind the memories of our vacation gone wrong, a cautionary tale of the dangers that lurk in the shadows, waiting to claim unsuspecting souls as their own.